Yo, what's good guys? It's Jidel Live. Today we're gonna be rebuilding the Dallas Mavericks. Now we're doing a start today. So the only thing left to do this first season, of course, is some contract extensions. Courtney Lee will resign. He's 34. He's a 73 overall. I say no to that, Courtney. And no one else I can do anything with. So we're just gonna have to send to the end of the season and see how the Mavs do. Hopefully, you know, we win the title and I don't do anything, you know, just have the rest of this night to myself. I don't think that's gonna happen. So I'll see you in the playoffs. All right, Giannis, MVP, John Morant, rookie, all the good stuff. We know what's happening here. Our boy Luka Doncic did make the All-NBA second team. I copied his haircut. Look at this guy. He looks great. Look, I can't do a Mavericks rebuild and not just praise Luka all day long. It's, it's like a prerequisite to doing this video, okay? We're going against the Clippers in the first round. I don't know if we are well equipped to handle the Clippers. I will, I will be honest here. They got Lou Will. We're gonna try one tiny little game plan. Just play through Luka, have Luka take as many shots as he can against Lou Will, and just hope it goes well, because I don't think the computer's gonna adjust. First scoring option, Luka. Play through the star, shoot at Will. I want Luka to shoot a ton of shots. Crash the offensive glass. We gotta make this a weird game. Defensive aggression, uh, let's play physical. Let's go balls to the walls, here we go. We're probably gonna get swept, so I'm just gonna simulate the round. Yeah, we got swept. We got swept pretty bad. Let's see if our game plan to get Luka as many points as possible worked. He scored 44 that game, 19 the first game, 18 the second, 22 the third. So my game plan didn't really work. All right, well, no shame in losing to the Clippers. Their, their roster is stacked, obviously. So this is our time, the off season to make some big changes. Kawhi Leonard was the MVP. So yeah, we lost to the eventual champs. No shame in that. So we actually have the 19th pick in the draft. I thought the Mavericks owed that to somebody. I guess not. We are going to take Wendell Moore. Welcome to the Mavericks, Wendell. So our guy Wendell Moore, he is a 75 overall, which for a 19 year old, I'm, I'm impressed. But there's an 18 year old right below him who's a 75 overall at 19. So it looks like a lot of guys are in that range. Well, hopefully our guy, you know, does what he needs to do, accepting that. Jalen Smith, the 74 overall, let's accept that too. Thank you, computer, for the auto draft. Uh, Hardaway Jr. accepted his player option. He's a 79 overall, but he's a little overpaid at that rating. Willie Colley Stein declined. That's okay, Willie. I didn't really want you to be a part of this team anyway. All right, cap holds. Colley Stein, goodbye. Berea, goodbye. Kid Gilchrist, goodbye. Courtney Lee had a huge cap hold. All right, Tim Hardaway Jr., what kind of trades can we get? We can get Draymond Green. Draymond's only a 79 overall though. This ain't the same Draymond that I would love to have play for this team, sadly. Spurs will give me two lottery protected picks. Honestly, it's just kind of a cap dump. I'm cool with that. So now I got 20 million in cap room to play around with here in free agency. Now, do we want to play Porzingis at the five? Do we want to play him at the four? It seems like the Mavericks use him a lot as a spot up guy because he's not really a true post up kind of big man like that. Montrezl Harrell is interesting. He's a it's short for the center position. I think in the Bulls rebuild, I was complaining about Wendell Carter. So would it make me a hypocrite to go for Harrell? Maybe a little bit. JaVale is a bit cheaper and he's a seven footer. I'm gonna go for him. Let's see, he's 32. Let's do a two year deal. Bump that down to that. We need some help on the wings, but I don't really like any of these options. DeRozan next to our guy, Luca. I don't know about that. Brandon Ingram's restricted. Gallo's fun, but I just don't like that salary number for Gallo. Eh, a two year deal. Maybe we can make that work. So JaVale and Gallo accepted. All right, so we're immediately surrounding our guys with talent. All right, we have two training camps. I'm gonna send my first camp, Porzingis, to big man defense. I need this man to be the ultimate rim protector at his height, his length. We need that untapped potential to our rookie, Wendell Moore. A minus potential. Okay, we might get something out of him. He might become a useful asset for this team, if not a useful piece. All right, our lineup here in year two. Really, it's our first year since I did start today. I don't want to hold that first year against me. You know what I'm saying? We got Brunson, Doncic, Finney Smith, Gallinari, Porzingis. And then off the bench, we got DeLon Wright, Seth Curry, Kleber, and JaVale. A nice, solid, well-rounded bench unit. Our starting lineup definitely has some holes. We do have height and shooting around Luka, which is, you know, a big thing. So this team could be decent. This team definitely has a chance to be decent. I think we should try to get shooters open. I don't think I ever used this. Does it get shooters open? I don't think I really ever use that as offensive focus. So 
I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna sim to uh, the day after Christmas and get a feel for how this team's gonna be. All right, we find ourselves 18 and 12, but we are in a three game winning streak, which means we were an underwhelming 15 and 12 right before that. We're actually the third seed despite that. The Warriors have LaMarcus Aldridge. It looks like they traded Draymond for Aldridge. Am I, am I, am I understanding the situation properly? They did, okay, interesting trade. Well, the Clippers are the one seed, obviously. We've already lost twice to them this year. Now I'm gonna sim to early February when I can actually trade some of our free agent pickups. I don't know if I wanna trade those guys, but it is what it is. February 1st, we find ourselves 30 and 17. We're really actually starting to pick things up, but let's see what trades we can do. Dwight Powell, from my understanding before his big injury this year was actually a big part of what the Mavs did this year. He's not playing in my rotation and he has a $10 million salary. I'm gonna look to move him real quick. So I'm gonna do this McDermott trade. I don't really care about the second round pick. Luke Kennard, another guy who seems to end up on our teams a lot, but has value, why not? All right, so all of a sudden, our lineup is now Brunson, Doncic, McDermott, Gallinari, Przingis, DeLon, Seth, Seth, not Steph, who I actually think is pretty dang good. Kennard and Kleber, which actually takes JaVale out of the lineup. We're gonna have 22 million in cap room again. After I move Gallinari, I could bump that figure up a lot if I'm able to trade him for draft picks. Well, Kennard, I don't really wanna have to re-sign. Brunson, we got a team option. So we we could be looking at ourselves getting an absolutely top tier free agent if everything here goes well. I can't do any contract extensions, so let's just go straight to the end of the season and see what seed we end up with. All right, we had 46 wins, 36 losses. I'll admit, I actually forgot to look at our win-loss last season just because I did start today, and I was like, ah, oh, this season's a wash. But Luca made the All-NBA first team. That's big for us. Our guy averaged 25, 10, and eight on really good shooting numbers. And we are actually the five seed. So from that perspective, we did do better than last time. We got Chris Paul, Shea Gildress, Alexander Walker, Steven Adams. Seems like we can attack the small forward and power forward on this team. I'm worried about their guards though. I don't think this is gonna be an easy series for us. In fact, I don't really like this matchup for us. Let's try to get Gallinari involved here. I think that will help. Try a neutral offensive focus. Try to mix things up here. All right, let's see how we do against the Oklahoma City Thunder. If we can steal one on the road in game one, that would be big. We lost by two. All right, that's really not that bad. And hey, we are, we're, we're doing really good right now. Okay, we stole one in OKC. Can we win two in Dallas? Can the home court pull us ahead? It does, all right. Going into game four, we can take a commanding 3-1 lead here. I can't tell if home court seems to matter a lot more in this year's 2K. It seems like it does. Yeah, we find ourselves 2-2. Each team has a win on both courts. And now on the road, we're winning. So maybe home court doesn't matter as much, or maybe, Oklahoma City and Dallas are so close together that the fans are traveling back and forth between the games and there's just 50-50 fan attendance at both games. All right, we're actually in game seven. Through all of my rambling there, we went three and three and we are now in game seven. And the Minnesota Timberwolves, bless their souls, they might upset the Clippers. We might make a surprise run to the finals. I think that's a lot of wishful thinking. We have to win a road game seven and we are absolutely obliterating them. Well, that was easy. So the Clippers, they own us. Let's let's be honest. They own us. They're a horrible matchup for us. I don't like who do I even attack in this lineup? Like good defender, good defender, great defender. Jermichael Green. What do you know about defense, Jermichael Green? Let's see. Let's see what your your knowledge of defense is. It's a D minus. All right, this is where we try some funky stuff. We try to cheese the game and hope it brings us to glory. Porzingis is gonna start at power forward. We're gonna start JaVale at center. We're gonna play Gallo at the three. We're gonna play a big lineup today. And our first scoring option, it's Porzingis. We're going for the cheese. Play through that star, soon average tempo, play physical. All right, Porzingis, please. We need you to go off. We need you to go off, buddy. And hey, we're putting up a good fight here in game one, abusing that cheese. Jermichael Green, he doesn't know about that defense. He's got a D-minus understanding of the defensive side of basketball. Can I abuse one single player so hard that I pull the grand upset and go up 2-0 against the team that embarrassed us? And now, 
We're going back to Dallas. We're once again kicking ass. And I want to see, if, are we winning these games because of my, my cheese? Perzingis, 27 on 15 shots. Pretty good. Perzingis, 20 on 16 shots. That's all right. Perzingis, 27 on 23 shots. Not what we're looking for, but it didn't matter. We won. Here we go. Let's go, Mavs. I never thought I'd say that as a Heat fan, but we swept the Clippers. Wow. This is Luka's moment, and the sixth seed Denver Nuggets have a chance. No, they don't. They did not have a chance. They were like they were down one to three, but it was against the Warriors. So thought maybe they had a chance there. All right, we're going against the two seed, the Warriors. Lamarcus Aldridge, what do you know about defense these days? Not a lot. Eric Pashal, what do you know about defense? Oh, you don't know anything. Let's run the same lineup. Hey, if you if you can go big and you can survive the spacing of a small lineup. You can do great things. Perzingis at the four again with JaVale. Let's get JaVale some more minutes. Sorry, Klebs. Kennard, that's a lot of minutes for you. I have three 81 overall shooting guards. This is not a well-constructed roster. Doug McDermott's not even getting minutes. Okay, Dougie McBuckets needs minutes. Apparently, we signed Darren Collison. The computer did. Welcome to the team, Darren. Same thing. We're going to go to Porzingis. Porzingis is going to be our first option. Luke is going to be our second. We're going to play through a star. Play physical. Yeah, we got to bang him up. All right, the Warriors, man. The Warriors are a tough team. Steph and Clay, you know what they do in the Western Conference. They win it. But here we are stealing game one on the road. I actually, I can't believe how well we're doing. I really hope if we end up winning this series, which, oh my God. You know what? We're 1-1 going to Dallas. This series, look, this series might really just come down to if the simulation likes me or not. I don't know how much of a game plan I can do to really beat this Warriors team. We're up 2-1. Wants me to give less minutes to Seth Curry, give less minutes to JaVale. We're down, all right, 2-2. Two two. Back in Golden State, where we've actually had some success this series. And it looks like we're going to win and take the 3-2 lead. I have a feeling we're going to lose game six here in Dallas. I have a feeling everything I say is wrong. So I have a feeling that we're going to lose the NBA Finals to the 76ers. All right, I really did not expect us to make the Finals this year. We were the five seed. We won round one and seven, round two and four, round three and six. Philly, 4-1, 4-2, 4-2. Man, Philly scares me. They're, they're a tough team. They have so much size. I think we have to play big against them. I think going small against them in real life, maybe you could spread them out. I think in 2K, the way the simulator goes, uh-uh. No, no, no. God, I don't know what to do, man. I really don't know what to do with Philly. All right, well, first off with Ben, let's give gap on on ball, moderate off the ball. Joel Embiid, got to play him moderately. Play him moderate off the ball. Joel in the post. Joel would dominate this series in the post, I'll be honest. Double team post on the dribble. Joel, you know, I love Joel. Everyone knows I'm a big Joel Embiid fanboy. He really is not the greatest passer out of the post. He never has been. All right, I I don't know what to do. I, our first option needs to be Doncic, obviously. He's going to be guarded by Josh Richardson, who, like, that sucks for us. Unless we're going to get weird here. Can Gallo play the two? Are we gonna get weird here and do some cheese? We are, because I'm this close, Luca. We need you, man. I'm gonna have you abuse Tobias, who I know is not the greatest defender in the world. Here we go. We are on the road in game one, and we won by 10. This is gonna be a short, no, no, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose this series. And not only are we gonna lose this series, it's gonna be a downright embarrassment to the city of uh, of Dallas. The way we lose this series, it's, it's gonna be ugly. They're gonna chronicle this series as the ugliest series ever. No, 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 all right. Now everything I say is coming true. We are getting destroyed. I really don't wanna lose, man. We are right here in the finals with a team that I don't think should be in the finals. So Ben Simmons is destroying us. In game one, Joel destroyed us, but Ben was efficient. In game two, Ben was efficient. Ben and Joel. All right. We really got to get the ball out of Ben's hands. Ben is killing us right now. So maybe let's play him more moderate. Play him a little tighter off the ball. Let's go under the screens for Ben. Joel, I don't know who to guard Joel with. We really don't have a big man defense, like a really good big man. Let's guard him with Porzingis because of the height. Here we go. Game four in Dallas. They got off to a huge start. We came roaring back in the second and we took it. All right. Hey, it's it's now game five. This is where things get interesting. Okay. Not bad in Philly. This is a tough environment. I think Philly is like ungodly good at, at home in real life this year, but this isn't this year and this isn't real life, baby. Please don't let it go. Yes. Yes. Luka Doncic, I love you. I love you, Luka. We are the champions. Woo. Yes. Luka Doncic. 24, 8, 
and 10 on 55% shooting. This dude shot 67% from three. An absolute monster. I'm actually shocked we won that quickly. Like, this is the type of team that I actually think in real life could be pretty successful. You got shooting, you got height. We really don't have a big man garter, but a lot of the Western teams we played didn't make us pay for it. Philly, once we made the adjustment to basically just go under all of Ben's screens, it looks like we just won out from there. It's a well-rounded team. Doesn't have a lot of versatility on the bench, but seems like we just played opponents that didn't really make us pay for that. So, worked out in our favor. Luca, one of the best young players in the NBA. I had a whole plan in this rebuild, guys, where I was gonna go for Giannis and have my Luca, Giannis, Porzingis. Oh, it would've been nice, but we didn't even need Giannis. I hope you guys enjoyed this Mavericks rebuild. We have now won two championships and Failed to win two championships. We're two and two on the year for the rebuilds. You guys think I'll go three and two in the next rebuild or two and three? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more rebuilds if you haven't. And peace!